few preseason games? Uh, I expect more action than our last preseason game. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had right. zero action. <laughs> yeah. um, but it'll probably be around the same minute restriction okay. that I've had. Um, I won't say restriction because it's not like I'm being restricted, but about the same. What's the book? Uh, Havana Nocturnal. <laughs> what's, uh, what's it about? Yeah, what's it about? It's about the mob taking over Cuba. Is that something you're interested in in general? Or did somebody recommend it to you? Or have nah, you I watch mob movies. I'm a huge mob movie, either fiction or nonfiction. So, you know, Meyer Lansky, Lucky Luciano, all those guys. It's just who I am. Godfather is one of my favorites. LeBron, you've been a fan of Las Vegas. You've come here with Team USA. Um, now with the Lakers, it's in the, the extended fan base. Can you just talk about the energy that you've seen in this town, accepting of the NBA and Team USA when you've been here and now being with the Lakers? Well, I, I can't speak about now being here with the Lakers. I just got here. Uh, it was my first time. Um, obviously, I came to a, a summer league game uh, when I first signed with the team. But uh, being here with Team USA year after year, uh, the excitement around the game of basketball, they've always accepted us. They've always respected the way we played the game of basketball. And uh, it's always, always fun to come back. LeBron, do you feel like this city is ready eventually for an NBA franchise? Uh, well, they're building, they're building the stadiums to get ready for it. And, uh, you know, with the hockey team that's here, with the WNBA team that's here, with the Raiders coming here soon, um, I think they're setting up yourself to, you know, put, put themselves in the bid to, to have an NBA team. But, you know, I'm not, I want to know to say yes or no. You may have addressed this yesterday, but how important will it be to get some time on the court in game action with Lonzo? Um, well, I don't know how much time I'm going to get on the floor with him tonight. Um, you, know, you know, like I said, I'm not playing extensive minutes. Um, and he's probably going to play a lot of minutes as well. But um, it's just fun to have our, our group, our full group. You know, so it's uh, besides Mo, uh, and our rookie, who's been out you know, obviously since the summer league. But he's the only one who hasn't played, played yet. So we will be a full force guy. What are you just going for you know, it's nothing to it. He plays basketball. He knows how to play basketball. He'll be excited to get out there. So he's not looking too deep into a preseason game. Ron, what's Chevelle brought to the team so far? Say it again. What's Chevelle brought to the team so far? Um, I mean, everything that you need in, in a big. Um, got her rebounds, protects the rim. His athleticism, being able to catch lobs for us and uh, deter guards, things from coming in the paint, being able to adjust uh, uh, shots around the rim, um, his ability to switch, you know, at times on guards as well with his length and his athleticism, and then uh, more importantly, he's just a, a great locker room guy, he's really cool, down to earth guy. There's maybe I know it's a preseason game, but does it still feel like it's maybe a game against the Warriors for you, or is this? And not quite the same as when you faced them in the past. No, it's exactly the same. Preseason game versus final game is exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same. <laughs> um, I'm from Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, a message for all your fans in Costa Rica. Oh, you want a message for me? Um, go Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's World Mental Health Day. And, uh, teammates with Kevin Love last year. Of an advocate for that process. And the league in general seems to be waking up to the more in the walls for the most play. What's allowed you with all the entrapments of what this machine involves to, to stay, uh, I guess, mentally healthy? Or did you ever have times where you shut No, I pretty I haven't. I can't I can't say I was in the shoes of uh, guys dealing with that issue. I've always had people to talk to and bounce things off. Um, they never sugarcoated it or never was just around for whatever, you know, and that's always going back from, you know, my childhood, you know, even where I could have slipped into that side, you know, being part of a single parent household, no father, I always had the opportunity to talk to my mom or talk to my two uncles, talk to my friends that was around. Um, so I was always able to get things off my chest and not allow things to build up. Um, I don't know if that's what causes it, but for me personally, I've always had people around that I could just if I ever needed to talk, they was there for me and able to, you know, whatever, whatever it was that I was going through. So, um, you know, I definitely, uh, you know, acknowledge, um, you know, what these guys are going through. Like you said, uh, you know, Kevin Love is one of my favorite guys, uh, one of my brothers, and uh, you know, when he acknowledged that, you know, I just told him how strong he was, but not only for himself, but for other people that's going through the same issues, not only just athletes, 
but he, he was one of the kids that look up to him that might be going through it and don't know how to express that. So I think it was a pretty cool thing. Last question, please. LeBron, well, circling back to the Warriors, just in general for the regular season in, in this the, the rivalry itself and sort of re-energize yourself now that you're a part of the Lakers. You just talk about you looking forward to maybe seeing them a little more often in, in, in the, the rivalry itself. What's the rivalry? <laughs> Between who? Lakers and the Warriors. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Thanks, man. Appreciate you.